Hey, what's up? My name is Kristen. In today's video, I'm going to go over the stickers and stuff that I plan to use in the month of January to help me with my planning and working on my goals. So if that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. If you've been watching my lineup videos for a while, you know I typically talk about the stickers that I'm going to be using for the month, and I'm still going to be doing that, but I thought I would also include some other things that are going to help me stick with my goals, and just it's just some fun stuff that I thought maybe you would think is interesting, so I figured I'd talk about it in this video. So let's start with the stickers because that's probably why you're here to begin with. Um, so the month of January in my Erin Condren planner is this really nice um, peacock blue color. And so um, the stickers that I purchased to use this month have that color scheme going with them, plus the Erin Condren sticker book is themed with that color. So this is just a little piece of cardstock that I folded in half and just put a tab on it with the name of the month. And that's just how I'm organizing my monthly stickers lately. Um, in a previous video, I've showed you a binder and some page protectors I was using, but now that I've worked through a lot of my stash, um, I'm changing up my sticker organization a little bit. And so you'll see that in an upcoming video. I just want to use it a little bit longer and make sure that it's the right thing before I make a video about it. So anyway, let's move on to the actual stickers. So these are my January stickers from the Erin Condren seasonal sticker book. Um, this is the sheet that came out of edition seven sticker book, which is no longer available. You can see that it says 2022 on it. I purchased this sticker book later in the year when um, I think it was August by this. So like halfway through the year. So I was using it from August forward. But so I have the whole beginning of that book left that I haven't touched yet. Luckily, the colors are the same and so I can keep using them. This is from the current book that you can purchase now. I'll link it below. It is the edition eight sticker book. And you can see that the colors and the themes are very similar and everything's going to go together really well. And of course, it matches the monthly colors. So I'm excited to use those. And I also have this little January set from the mini calendar set. Um, I just really wanted the mini calendar and that's a sticker. I don't know what I'm gonna use that for, but I just wanted it because I love little tiny things. Anyway, those checklist stickers um, match and they don't fit the lined pages. So if I go to a blank lined page here, um, I have so much stuff clipped into this book because it's the beginning of the year and I haven't finished setting it up yet. And I'm trying not to let everything fall out, but let's go to one of the lined pages here and I'll just show you. These um, checklist stickers do not actually line up with the lines. So the first one lines up, but then, then it just gets off. So this isn't going to look great on the lined paper. However, we do have that section on the dashboard. Let me flip to a blank one. This section here that I thought that would look good. Of course, imagine we're on the January page and I could use that there. And um, I'm not sure if it lines up with the grid spacing on the dot grid. It may or may not. It's hard to tell because of that border around it, but there's some ways I can use those checklists. So I thought I would throw those in there. And then I have a planner Kate. I've used all of these except the one that says New Year's Day. So I might use that just so I can throw this away. I do have these that came from a paper studio little mini monthly sticker book. And that is from Hobby Lobby. They don't really match. Um, there's the foil on the January stickers is like that teal color and this is all gold. I don't know if I'll use these, but they go with January. So I threw them in there. The stickers that I purchased from Planner Kate for the month, MK504. These are stickers for the Hobonichi Cousin, which I do not have. 
um, but I wanted to try these in my Erin Condren horizontal planner. So if you look here, we've got this kind of layout in the horizontal. And these full boxes for the um, Hobonichi Cousin will fit nicely in here. They are smaller, but they will look good in it. And so I just thought I would try that out and just see um, how I can use this new format from Planner Kate to see if it, how it works in an Erin Condren. So keep an eye out um, for Plan With Me's using these stickers if you're interested in seeing how those fit. But I thought that these kind of match the colors good enough that I would throw them together and see if I could use them in that way. So there's those. And then I have, um, let's see, this is Planner Kate. Uh, 502, MK502. Now this, I'm gonna move these out of the way so it doesn't get so confusing. This is um, similar to the previous kit that I showed you, but it's a little more on the teal side and this is more on like the dusty blue side. So um, this is a kit, this sheet here, not this one, but this sheet is for the Hobonichi Weeks. And again, I'm going to try it out in the Horizontal Life Planner just to see how it works. Um, there's some date, date covers and some other like elements here that I just thought would be nice to try out in the horizontal and see if maybe that's something that would work in that planner. We don't get a lot of horizontal specific stickers from many shops and so I just wanted to try that out and see if that was an option. This is a horizontal specific sticker, the checklists. Those line up. This is also MK502. It goes with this, um, but this is made for the Erin Condren horizontal or the Moxie Life. So these line up with the lines in those planners and then it's just some extra functionals. I don't normally use the checklists. I really wanted just this small sheet of functionals that matched this. Um, and so of course I just picked the one that, that went with the horizontal. So I'll use those just because they go together. The last set of stickers I have for January, also from Planner Kate, this is Kit 501. This is like the, my favorite artwork for the month. Um, it's just really cute and I like the colors. I love the dark green color that um, I believe Kate picked that because it coordinates pretty nicely with the um, Erin Condren color. It is a little darker, but if you have the Harmony Colorful, I think it will flow nicely. So this is the new functional sheet that Kate has, and I'm a functional planner, and so of course I had to try this out. I really love these flags with the lines. I'm really excited for these. I like the idea of these flags here and just having enough of the same kind of functional sticker so that I can coordinate things like my videos and stuff. I am changing up my planning style going forward, so I'm not really gonna have a weekly spread, but I still might wanna use some stickers to call attention to my videos. And it is nice to have you know, enough. So like there are nine of most of these and that's great because if you have something every day, like, you know, if you want to write dinner in it every day, it's going to match. You'll have seven of them. So anyway, that's why I picked that. And of course there's two pieces of thin washi right here. And I love some thin washi. I did buy the thin washi in the add-on. This is kit 501 like i said but it's sheet g in the weekly um the weekly kit listing if that makes sense this is from the add-on listing and this is sheet a05 and that's just the thin washi and these are also new this is the journaling kit um, sheets one and two and so these are journaling stickers that you've seen me use something similar from Orange Umbrella Co. Kate came out with her own and I love that it matches the other things and I can mix and match. And so I'm excited to use these and I think these are gonna get me through, this whole set here will get me through like the entire month in my um, monthly planner. 
So we also have the notes page shell. This is something else that's relatively new. I have never tried this yet, but these line up with the notes pages and then you've got some like dashed headers and some dashed headers that are already filled in with words. I really wanted to try these out. I wish that these came in this like teal color so that I could use them on my brain dump on my dashboard, but that's okay. I'll just have to incorporate these with these stickers and try to get that teal to match up. We'll see how that works. This is the seven by nine compact vertical build your own kind of thing. So Erin Condren has an A5 compact vertical, but they don't have a seven by nine. So Kate came up with a sheet of stickers that fits in a seven by nine notebook so you can make your own compact vertical spread. So you don't have to do it in that layout of the compact vertical. And so I thought this would be a great way to use, to use stickers to make my weekly to-do list if I wanted to plan in that way that week. And so all of these kind of go together. I've got a lot of choices here and um, I think it's gonna be really, um, fun to put all these together and try to make some weekly spreads on a plain piece of notebook paper that's in my monthly planner. So that's what I have for stickers for the month of January. And then I also pulled some Erin Condren pens that I think will match. This is the teal color in the dual tip marker and then also the fine point marker. And then this is the dual tip dual ink like a chisel tip highlighter that has a fine point on the other side that coordinates. And this is in the mermaid and lagoon color. It's not a perfect match, but it's good enough for me. I also pulled this one from the focused line. It's a dual tip marker that has a chisel tip because this pink matches um, the monthly, which just barely shows up, but it's like this mauve pink kind of color. So I just pulled that to show you that as well. I'll go ahead and move these stickers out of the way and then we'll talk about the other little bonus items I brought over to show you. So I brought over this little skein. Is it skein or skein? Skein? I'm gonna say skein. Skein of yarn. I bought this at probably Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something. It just says Yarn B Cotton DK in the color Fog and it is a, I don't know anything about yarn <laughs> and I don't know anything about knitting, but I wanted to learn how to knit. So, okay, this does say it was from Hobby Lobby, but it says to use four millimeter knitting needles, which are also known as a USA size six or a UK size eight. So um, I have a pattern, which I don't have. I purchased it on Etsy. It was a download. I didn't print it out because my printer is out of ink and I'll probably just look at it on my iPad anyway. I'll go ahead and insert um, what the hat is gonna look like. I didn't even say that yet, that I would like to make a little hat out of this. It's so soft and it's a nice neutral color. And I just, I wish I would have done it before we went to Canada. I really could have used it. I did have a hat, but it would have been so much fun to wear the hat I made. I live in Houston and so it's not really that cold very often. So, but anyway, I am gonna make a hat and that is my creative project for the month of January. I'm trying to do something creative that's not planner related every month just because it's so much fun and I just am trying to make time for stuff like that. So here are my supplies and this is what I intend to do for the month of January for my creative project. For reading, um, I, if you've been watching my vlogs then you'll know I like to read and I've been talking about books and it's been fun talking with you about books so I thought I would show you um, the books that I would like to read in January. There may be more and I may not finish these, but this is just something that I wanted to pull and kind of set aside so that I could read it and not just leave it on my shelf and forget it's there. So this is The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. Is it pronounced Moyes or Moyes? Anyway, Jojo Moyes. Um, it's about a traveling librarian it's set in depression era America in the mountains of Kentucky. And it's about a woman who travels around the rural areas on a horse with books. So she's a traveling librarian. I recently read 
what is that called? It was called The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek. I read that and then I read The Book Woman's Daughter. And those were pretty good. And so I think this one is similar to that. And so I just thought, yeah, let's read it. It's been on my shelf for a while. It's one of those books that I purchased on a deal that my, um, anytime I go to a thrift store or the library has a used bookstore and I see nice hardback books that are books that I would like to read or books that I've already read but I don't own that I really loved. I always buy them if they're like less than five dollars. So that's what this one is. It's been on my shelf for almost a year now and I really am going to read it. I'm gonna read it in January. The other book I wanna read is a nonfiction book. I don't have my copy yet. I am asking Santa for it for Christmas. So um, in any case, I'll have a copy by the time January starts and it's called Building a Second Brain by Tiago Forte. It's a nonfiction book that's going to help me figure out how to organize all my notes and things. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's what I get from reading the blurb about it. And so I'm really excited to read that and like study it and dig in and take some notes on it. And um, if you've heard of it or read that, let me know. If you've read this one, let me know. Are you, um, do you wanna read this one? Leave me a comment letting me know what you're reading and what kind of stickers you're gonna be using in the month of January and what kind of creative projects do you like to do that are not planning related? I do a lot. I love sewing and quilting. I haven't done it for years, but I do plan to pick that up again throughout this year. And then of course, I, I've always wanted to learn knitting, so we'll see how that goes. I'll be sure to show you um, the hat when I'm done with it. Um, maybe I'll post some pictures or something on my Instagram if you're interested. So that's it for me. I am going to go ahead and lay this all out just so you can get one last look at the stickers that I'm gonna be using in my planners and also get a little sneak peek of some of the creative projects and books I'm reading. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you like these kind of videos and it'll keep showing you stuff like this. If you really liked it, please consider subscribing. I do post videos like this on my channel three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sometimes I will have a vlog on the weekend. I've been doing it for the month of December. I'm not sure if I'll continue it through January or in the new year, but we'll see. Every month I also post a video like this where I talk about the stickers that I plan to use in my planners in the upcoming month. And this was just a new addition that I thought would be fun that has to do with the goals that I've set for myself in 2023. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.